Action over at King's Theater tonight as the West Indian America Day Carnival Association celebrates 55 years. This as the Labor Day Parade is less than three weeks away and it is expected to draw thousands of people. News 12 reporter Phil Tate over at the festivities. He tells us more. The energy is electric. The dancing, the music, the costumes and food. Culture. Uh, these outfits are from our heritage and they resonate with who our ancestors are, who we are, and it's just a representation of the Caribbean. Anticipation bursting out of the doors at the King's Theater as the West Indian American Day Carnival Association announces its carnival season. I'm excited. The display of culture in all of the Caribbean countries represented 2 million people on the parkway. I can't wait. I'll be out there with my Haitian flag. Celebrating our culture and I cannot wait to get on that parkway. What you gonna do? Oh Lord, jump up, scream, put on a little wine. Thousands are expected to line Eastern Parkway and for the first time in two years at full capacity. The sights and sounds will be on full display and if you've been before, it's a party. What we see on Labor Day is more about showcasing what is right here in New York City. Um, and I'm happy because last year we had a small version of Labor Day. We were grateful that the city allowed that to happen. But now we're ready to mash up the parkway. This year's theme, Carnival is Life. And for organizers, they say this year's theme was extremely fitting. It's because Carnival and the, and, and the whole festivity of New York Carnival is in our blood. It's in the blood of many of the electors, all, a lot of them are of Caribbean descent. And it's also the lifeblood of the economic stimulator in the city and state. Many had an opportunity to get a taste of the festivities, a part of this end of summer celebration. Well, don't miss out. The parade kicks off on September 5th in Flatbush, Phil Tate, News 12.